Hello, Colossal Con! How's everyone feeling tonight? That didn't sound very enthusiastic at all. No, that was kind of lame. I'm not... It's a little bit better. Okay. We just had to, we just had to tickle it out of them. I was trying really hard not to be the guy that's like, well, that wasn't very good. Let's try it again. And that's why I'm that guy. Thanks for taking the fall. Welcome. welcome to the in-character contest. How many of you have been to one of these before? Okay. How many of you have not been to one of these before? Quite a few. And how many of you chose not to cheer either time? Those are the people we like. Yeah, I figured as much. All right. Uh, real quick, uh, just to get introductions out of the way, uh, my name is Zach. Most people know me by the tremendously unfortunate moniker Stripper Bash. And I already heard my name being shouted out. I'm Steve. Many people know me as a mess. Both personally and professionally. I gotta ask, I mean, you're dressed like a shirtless hobbit here, so... Um... Look, I'd say if the shoe fits, wear it, but that requires me to wear shoes. Oh. What are you, Sony's biggest mistake? I am. I no, he prides himself on it. Let him show yeah, no, you. No, no, I am a, a mighty Morbin Power Ranger this weekend, so... That, it's Morbin time. I've been Morbin around all day. There's Morbin all over the place. Just try not to step in it, you especially. <laughs> what? It's Morbid. Mighty Morbid. It's a stupid Morbius joke. And that is why I'm standing here in an incredibly unflattering orange jumpsuit that I will probably lose half of as the evening goes on. So. It's gonna be one of those nights. Awesome. It is absolutely gonna be one of those nights. So, real quick, for the, for the audience out there, and a quick reminder to our contestants, the rules for tonight, this is a three round, it's essentially an improv contest. It is absolutely an improv so contest. So the first round, each character will come up on stage, they've got anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, if you guys want to watch a clock and just kind of let them know when 60 seconds happens. Um, basically they can do whatever they want. They're going to come up on stage, monologue, break dance maybe, I don't know. It's kind of their, their minute. For the second round, how many of you submitted a ridiculous question in the box in the back? We, we're contractually obligated to read them verbatim, so um, in the second round, we will be interviewing the characters like it's a talk show and asking them the questions that are burning in all of your minds. You want to tell them about the third round? The third round, the third round is special. Those of you, and I'm going to stress with confident improv skills, get to come up here and be part of the show. So for each of our final round contestants, we will be looking for a counterpart. You don't have to be in a costume. You just have to be able to improvise. And we'll get to that when we get to that, but otherwise, are we ready to get this started? All right. There we go. Let's bring out, so it is. Let's bring out our first contestant, Peter Quill. Star-Lord by virtue that he's not really Chris Pratt. They do give 
have they hearts do. for that. They do. And, and no one tried to convert us to Jesusism, so that's all oh. this point. So you're right. That's the official name of the religion, by the way. Jesusism. Jesusism. How many yeses can you put in there? What? Where's your belt? Where's my belt? Did you not hear his instructions? I, I said it was obnoxious and not flattering, and I was going to lose it as quickly as possible. So. Oh boy. I spy. What is Zach missing off his cosplay this round? 90% of it. All right. Up next, please welcome Jin Bubai Gawara twice. Freshly healed from Carrie and his entire team, we have the Doctor from Team Fortress 2. Vanitas. 
Yes, clapping is appropriate. Mesdames, Monsieurs, Bonsoir. I am Vanitas, a doctor of the supernatural kind. That's right, tonight what you see before you is not someone who's dealt with simple monsters, but vampires. And I am on a quest to save all, yes, each and every one. For that is my revenge against the vampire of the blue moon. While we're on the subject, has anyone seen a vampire around here? Tall, white hair, so disgustingly innocent it causes me nothing but trouble. Because, um... I have his cat, and it scratched me multiple times, and it's very temperamental and judgmental, and I don't know what to do about it, and I would drink, but that would cause me to lose my mental stability. So, um, I'm going to look back there now, and I'm hoping he's back there, because if not, you're, you're going to see a very frustrated doctor. Goodbye. Okay, so, have to ask you, please come here. Bonnie Toss. Question. So, the thing you hate more than anything in the world is? Vampires. Okay, vampires. Does that include living vampires, or is it just vampire vampires? Like, is there a certain, like, subset that you really hate more than others? Basically the vampire of the blue moon, but it depends on if they get on my nerves. So no, is what you're saying. No way, but... Okay, then I guess the real question is, if you are locked in a room, you have one stake, and in front of you is Count Dracula and Edward from Twilight. <laughs> Which one's getting the stake? Edward. Edward? Edward? Yes! No hesitation. Okay, thank you. Just have to clear that up. Thank you. That was burning in all of our hearts. Knocked out one of the questions for round two right off the bat. Thank you. Up next, hide your vases, hide your reverse harems, hide your hot throbs. We have Haruhi from Oran High School Host Club. So that's why I'm here. Um, hopefully I get far enough to get more cut off. Uh, I figured the easiest way to do this would be to bribe the judges. You're really pretty, have a rose. You scare me, have a rose. You're really cute, I hope nothing happens to you. Have a rose. Maybe later. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone's having a great time. It's really nice in Pennsylvania. Please come visit the host club. Bye, everyone! All right. So you got a rose? You got a rose. You got a rose. Did you get a rose? I am a rose. <laughs> in that you are a thorn in my side, yes, you are. <laughs> That was good, that was good. Up next, here to do your dailies for you, Arataki Ito from Genshin Impact. Usually the 
gang just calls me boss, though. We are accepting members. Does anybody in the audience care to join the Arataki gang? Come on! Arataki gang is family. We go through everything together. And that includes our beetle fights and often losing bets. We don't admit defeat. Thank you. So, first of all, I appreciate how invested all of you were for that entire thing until they said something about not liking feet and you all went silent. <laughs> like, just, like, oh, nope, we don't like this one anymore. We don't like this one. I mean, gotta admit, I feel personally attacked on that one. You should. Hi? Was someone sick? Oh. He went to the bathroom right there? <laughs> now I get why none of these seats are occupied. Gross! Oh. Well, speaking of thorns, please welcome, from Scooby-Doo, Thorn, from the Hexbergs. Hello, Colossal Con East. I'm Thorn, lead singer of the Hex Girls, and an eco goth. How many of you have seen some of my other shows? Alright, well, I think you need a little bit of a song. With this little cobweb potion, you'll fall into dark devotion. If you ever lose affection, I can change your whole direction. I'm a hex girl. Love you, CCE. Alright, question. Question. I'm listening. How long has it been since you've watched Scooby Doo? Which iteration? <laughs> it's been a few years. When did they add a goth girlfriend? That's... Really? Really? That was back in like the 90s. The 90s? You have no excuse. Wait, it was in a... Hang on. I'm not surprised that there's merch in Hot Topic. No one is dis... Did you see the person on stage? It was Hot Topic personified. I get it. <laughs> I'm curious when it was added to Scooby-Doo. Okay, okay. A movie. Dobby Island? Are you... You know what? No. Dobby Island. It's tons of little house elves, and every single one of them is responsible for murder. We're gonna go to the next name now. Sweet. Go for it. You can never have just one in Genshin, can you? Venti! Hey, did anyone call for a bard? I mean, I am the best bard in Mondstadt, if I do say so myself. I mean, I have alcohol, I have my heart. Wait, where did my harp go? Did anybody see uh, an Archon harp? I mean, not an Archon harp. Totally not. I'm not an Archon, no. Just your friendly bard. You know, I can sing you a song. It doesn't matter. I don't need a godly harp, right? Uh, wait, hold on. I just heard Dulek, and he said that wine is half off at Angel Chair. Sorry, gotta go. Okay, the bartenders are obviously slacking. Someone let that minor have alcohol. <laughs> Wait, Mark, how old is that character? Thousands of years? Is this a Lolicon thing? This is just more reason for me to not download the game. <laughs> All right, here's what I've gathered from the shouting of the audience. One, they're over a thousand years old. 
it's not a lolicon thing, and someone over here said it definitely is a lolicon thing. So that means most of the people in here are in denial. This is a most, it's a femboy? Well, then they're precious and they must be protected. And alcohol restricted. Yes. Up next, please welcome, Let's Go.
only accepting the rest of our contestants if they sing everything from this point on. That was very nice. Oh, that's gonna be real interesting with our next one. <laughs> I don't know. We got Vecna from Stranger Things coming. To He's not saying no to the butt eating, so. 
Zach, I'm scared. I am too. I'm scared. I'm scared. I've had this you nightmare before. Your... No, look. That's not terrifying at all. We'll get to you. I'm more concerned with Randy Savage Macho Man up here asking for the room number of Luffy, who we have established eats butt. So, okay. <laughs> you alright? Up next! <coughs> Please welcome Mikan! That's what you were asking to figure out? Adorable, and none of you deserve her. So our next contestant is potentially in the audience. Potentially? Potentially. I don't know for sure if they are or not. Okay. It could be any one of you. No. Uh, please welcome to the stage. Could even be you. It's not. It's better. Pikachu! It's Morgan time. <laughs> Let's give them the space that they I hate this so much. <laughs> Do I want to hear the other option? Yeah, yeah. Everyone already knows. Clap and or cheer. Yeah. Does that look like... I hate all of you. Um, this front row especially though. Uh, shame. shame. <laughs> anyway, please welcome to the stage, Steve Jobs. I 
I lived, bitch. And I've been waiting for this day for a long time. In 1984, Apple released the Macintosh computer. In 2001, we revolutionized the music industry with the iPod. And in 2007, we redefined the mobile phone with the release of the iPhone. And now, it's time for us to reinvent the e-girl. <laughs> We're introducing something a little bit classier and a little bit more mature. Introducing Apple's new iLady. Now I have a lot more to say about this revolutionary new invention, but first I'm gonna let Steve Wozniak and the sultry hobbit come back up to the stage. Oh, and before anyone asks, yes, I laid these nuts on your face. They all signed a waiver, right? I forgot who our next person was. Wow, I know that looked like dramatic when I, I was mad, it. but yeah. I'm a little weirded out by the audience because as soon as Steve Jobs was like, we want something classier and more mature, like you erupted in defiance. That is not how we want our e-girls. No, we want our e-girls like that. Like Pikachu? Yes. Okay. That's the prototype. Why are your ears clapping? Gross. Up next, please welcome Mocha. I felt like I didn't belong, but then I met Skune. Skune was so cute, and he was so nice, and his blood tasted so good. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm a vampire. I go to Yo at Yokai Academy, we're all monsters, and we all fit in together. I don't know what kind of monster Skune is, but I'm trying to figure that out. Sometimes, when we're together in the newspaper club, we get into different problems. Different monsters will try to attack us, and I'm pretty much helpless, but on my ample breasts, <laughs> there is a necklace that if removed changes me from a nice happy vampire to a butt-kicking monster S-class vampire. Let's hear it for Skune, my love. Real quick, are they from an anime or a game? Yeah. Someone shouted manga very upset. <laughs> it's from a manga? And it's so much better than the anime. That beard is better than anything in that anime, I promise. Can we all agree on the beard being like... I don't need to see it, I don't need to read it. That was great. Yes. What? It's a beautiful beard win. You love you, good facial hair. Yes. The only reason you like me is because I have facial hair? No, no, don't back her up! Do not back her up! You have nothing else of value. I will shave this off tonight. I won't, I won't, I won't. I'm hiding like three chins under here. So. The tech 
crew is never going to let you outrun this song. Do it. go get long ears, a tail, and white hair. She who? Last year? Thank you. Was it because of you? Oh god. What? I don't know either. For those of you that are confused, raise your hand. Front row, we don't want to hear from you. And with that, that concludes the first round. So let's bring all of our contestants back up onto the stage and give a huge round of applause for our first round contestants. You're gonna have to squeeze close because there's a lot of you and not a lot of stage. Or stand behind if you're tall. It takes them a second. Why are you posing for a photo? This isn't like a class photo. Where's the pizza? Yes, I will take a row. Where is Pikachu? Pikachu is coming. Oh, Pikachu! Hang on. Pikachu needs a moment. They're shy and inflating themselves. He got it. Not that kind of inflating! Not that kind! So, now that the first round is completed, our judges are taking our 19 lovely contestants and turning them out into our top 10, who will then move on to the second round of interview. Do any of you have anything you want to say? Yes. No. I, I was, that was, I was talking. Everyone stay behind. Everyone stay behind. All right, I take it back. Everyone shut up. Please sit down. Oh my gosh, it's like hurting cats. Now hang on, hang on. It's the new evolution. <laughs> Has anyone had that dream where it's just like 18 Deadpools and none of them know what they're doing other than Beetlejuice? Excellent, okay. Now, audience, audience, something behind me just broke. Do you in the audience have a favorite? That was a yes or no question. So we'll try that again. Audience, yes or no? Do you... I 
is going to ask a different question. How dare you assume? We're just waiting for the judges to make what is a very difficult decision. Can you have more alcohol? I think you've had enough. Alright, contestants, raise your hand if you want to drink. Jesus. Raise your hand if you have your ID. Raise your hand if you've already been drinking. Raise your hand if you're raising your hand. The audience there are not enough hands. Okay. Trust me. What are, what are you doing? Are you mocking me? She's dubbing me? It's a reverse dub. I'm dubbing you. You know what I hate? You know what community really makes me upset? It's probably for the best that the microphone cut out there. It was people that don't know how to use a microphone. So audience, we're going to go through an exercise with all of you since some of you may be involved later. I'm going to stand at the side and hold the microphone and you cheer when you think it's at the right place. Are you ready? You're actually correct. So how? I, I, I don't know, you're all perverted and you went with what was not the right choice, but it was the right choice. No, this is not a shake weight. You don't have to shake it when you're holding it. Please don't shake it when you're holding it. Oh my god. We're so crazy. Judges, how we doing? I'm gonna judge the judging. Please, okay. On a scale of one to ten, costumes for our judges. Beetlejuice is obviously above a five. We need y'all to make a decision so we can move forward. Why do you have to sit like that, Beetlejuice? There's a whole lot of nonsense going on here. There's a whole lot of something. I apologize, this is taking a moment. I promise that we will be moving forward as quickly as possible. I feel like Pikachu's body is... Right you know what? Who knows the Jeopardy theme? I have never done that before in my life. Now, we have, in no particular order, our top ten. Before we do this, let's have one more round of applause for all of our amazing contestants. First, we have Mikron. Mikron. If I call your name, please go backstage. Mikron. If I call Mokka. your name. Mocha! That's you! Backstage! No one wants you out here. Don't threaten me with that beard. Giselle! Owen! Venti! I can count. There we go. Arataki! And I guess there's nobody else that's going on to the next round. Oh, there are two more. Oh, no. Pikachu and Steve Jobs. 
Thank you all so much. Everyone who joined us up here, you can have a seat in the audience if you would like, or hang out backstage. You're called. Thank you for being a part of the first round, and we love you. You don't have to live here.